Good day, this is Sedlo, and today we are in my BFM and Weapons Trainer mission again. And uh, today I'd like to try air-to-air -air refueling in the uh, F-18 with the uh, brand new, or well, relatively new, S3 Viking tanker um, model, 3D model I guess it is. Um, everything else should work the same. Uh, tanking off the S3, in my opinion, is the most difficult uh, tanker to tank from. It's uh, much smaller, obviously. Um, it is, you have to get in much closer to the aircraft in order to refuel, um, and I find that uh, sometimes challenging. Anyway, we're going to give that a try, and then we'll, uh, we will um, uh, do a case uh case one uh, landing at the uh, carrier <clears throat> okay so let's uh, start her up here um, now I know the s3 is out to sea here somewhere I'm gonna go into my knee board and uh, find here it is s3 is a shell 5 one they're on 305 we're on 305 that's good TACAN is for uh, x-ray so we'll turn that on I'm gonna get the uh, HSI up here. There he is. Right, so uh, we're 35 miles away. Oh, we got a lot of gas, so let's uh, pop it in a burner. I'm going to set a bingo here of, well, hold on, let's. Uh, we're 35,000 pounds, we need to be down 34, so um, if we set our bingo for now at uh, 7,000 we'll be at our uh, max trap weight when it goes off. Uh, we'll reset it a little later. But, uh, yeah, so um, it's been a while since I've uh, been able to uh, fly DCS um, and of course uh, it's been a long time since I've done a video. Um, real world situations um, kind of prevent me from spending much time on the computer so um, I hope well I hope that things will change in the future but at the moment it's not looking too likely so uh, I know I don't have any subscribers that uh, you know uh, alert when I post videos so that, that's okay but I guess I'm just making this video more for me. Um, just want to see if I could do it. To be honest, let's see. It's uh, it's like four in the morning here um, as I do this because I just uh, just couldn't sleep. So uh, figured maybe I could do this. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's give the tanker a call. We'll go uh, calm switch. Com one tanker and uh, what was their call sign again? Shell. So we'll call up Shell five one. Shell five one in field one one. Request rejoin. In field one one. Shell five one. Proceed to pre-contact at four thousand and two five zero. So at four thousand two hundred fifty knots. It's fine. All right, so I'm just going to accelerate time here so this doesn't bore you entirely. And there's the carrier. I want to see if I could do this visual without radar. <laughs> it's 12 miles out. Should be cool. Oh, there he is. All right. probably going to start a left-hand turn to keep the orbit in. So uh, let's join on him now. Pull that power back. We're going way fast. Not sure what the... Uh, real life probe retraction speed is, but uh, we'll get it down under 300 knots before we do it. Mm -hmm. 
I forgot that my uh, probe isn't bound. <laughs> How long has it been since you've been doing this, Sedlo? You can't find the switch. Where was it again? Oh, I don't remember. Let's um find out. Probe. I don't have it bound, so bound that to that. Find that to that. There we go. All right, now to get into pre-contact with this guy, um, you got to be pretty close before you call it. Ready, pre-contact. We go clear contact. That, whoa! Oh, Sedlo, you are rusty. Just forgot how uh, <laughs> how much power this thing. Is. You got to be really gentle on it. So that that's cool. You see the the ram air thing going, powering up the uh, fuel pump. All right. Bit more. Contact. All right, we're taking fuel. You're taking fuel. Whoa, easy now. Slipped out. Well, it happens sometimes. not good. Let's see how much fuel we have. Okay, well, let's get up to 7,000. We'll try. Gentle on the throttles. Almost. Almost. Alright. Nope. See, I... It's not that good at this anymore. It used to be good. But I tell you, um, what this requires is uh, practice. You gotta practice this more often than I am. But at the end of the day, it's a game, and uh, you know what? You do what you can. S3 model looks really good. Yeah, see, you see, look at the tanker, not the basket. You do a little better. And uh, now with this new 3D model, looking at the tanker has never been better. All right, should do. Yeah, we're we're good. We got a lot of gas to burn too. All right, so we'll uh, say thanks for the gas, buddy. Um, there it is. Report refueled. All right, let's uh, let's find this carrier info here. One twenty-seven five. Put that up on our prime here. One two seven five. A couple zeros. TACAN is 74 X ray. ICLS is channel 1. Turn that on. Um, data link will turn on as well. And, uh, and that, is, uh, that is good. Das ist gut. So the tanker's out there somewhere. Nine miles away, you should be able to see it. But um, all that good at it. We still we got two thousand pounds of gas more than we need, or more than uh, we can land safely with. So uh, we'll just head in towards the boat. Um, turn.
turn the dispenser off. Master arm is off. There it is. Now we for gas. Too much still. Let's dump some. And we'll just do some uh, aerobatics. The DCS 2.9 is working very well for me. Um, I do. I did. Well, I was playing around with the sharpening a bit, so I've done a little too much. So uh, don't take this as the uh, final um, judgment of things. I should have reduced that sharpening. I think I went to 1.0 and uh, I really, really only need maybe 0.5 to make it look good. But um, anyway, what was that deedle deedle about? Oh yeah, we're just about bingo. We are, uh, we are under max trap weight, so we'll secure the dump. Confirm that's doing. All right, and let's uh, call the boat, tell them we're inbound. Marshal, zero, one, one. Marking moms, zero, nine, or zero, four, five. Angels, 19. State, 6.5. Uh, one, one, weather, is visible. Hook down. Hooks down. Switches to radar. So going to turn off that and adjust the radar altimeter to 370-ish. That should be when we're three quarters of a mile. That should go off. Pull up the ICLS needles because uh, it, it makes it easier. Get up to 350, get down to 800. A little less power. A little more attention to altitude. Anyway, there's the boat. Looks clear. Probably a little too close in for that, but um, all right, 266 means uh, 086 for the uh, reciprocal heading. Let's go do that. Gear and flaps down. down to 600 feet, and uh, we'll try to get on speed here. There's the boat. It's on speed, 1.2 nautical miles of beam. That looks pretty good. A little slow, start the turn with a little power. Couple clicks of trim there. A little too fast on the descent. Approaching the 90, have a look. All right, keep it going. Keep it going. It's looking all right. We'll maybe tighten it up just a bit. Don't forget, you gotta add a little power if you do that. Roger that, Jello. Way low. A lot low. There you go. Uh, 
All right, on deck. An OK three wire, my God. Who would have suspected? Get out of the landing area. Lights are off. So okay, I'll take the crappy refueling and I will take the OK3. Okay um, and that's just about all I can do today. So um, I hope you uh, enjoyed the video and um, don't forget to, whatever, I'm <laughs> not after views or subscriptions, so don't worry about that. Um, I just hope you have a wonderful time. Uh, DCS is, is a great uh, program. Um, and I'm, I'm excited to see what the future brings. All right, take care. Bye.